Herr Präsident, sehr geehrte Mr. President, colleagues, I too think this is a very tricky topic. I think Pope Francis expressed it perfectly well by saying that there's only one word to describe this disaster, and that is scandal. It is a scandal. It's a scandal that the European Union is has happened in Lampedusa again, something which we've been aware of for a long time. The Mediterranean is a mass grave where too many people for too many years have found themselves in desperate situations and lose their lives. And this is the result of a refugee policy enacted by the EU which tries to put people off and frighten them away. And I think the Pope how it was all the more correct when yesterday the uh, Home Ministers of the European Union decided that they would not change a jot about the refugee policy of the European Union. I think that's totally unacceptable and this debate must lead to a situation where the Parliament in October comes up with a proposal as to what must change. In future, all people, regardless of whether they uh, can be they're part of Frontex or Eurosur or a civilian or military vessels must see it as their duty to come to the aid of people, uh, refugees adrift on the Mediterranean. It is absolutely crazy that we have to keep stressing this given that we've seen so many catastrophes of this kind. We must ensure that asylum legislation that we already have is applied in all countries of the European Union, it needs to be implemented in all countries, also in Italy and Greece. And we need to ensure that all countries of the European Union do their bit, play their part, and look at the figures. These are no excuse w for us not to live up to our responsibilities, in particular because we don't permit any form of legal immigration for these people. They cannot come here uh, with prospects. And because the figures have been quoted so many times in recent days, uh, tell me, tell you about a few other figures. There's about 50 million people in the world who are fleeing in refugee camps. In Uganda, for example, 500,000 to 1 million people have uh, been present. Uh, there are growing problems for people who, for one reason or another, have had to leave their countries because of persecution or famine or war. And we count the numbers of thousands of people who are going to have to be taken under our wing in the EU and if it, we carry on in that vein then I hope that the Pope will step up to the plate and t speak out against those politicians and those parties in Europe that call themselves Christian in their title. Thank you very much for your attention.